mate's top. Baseball. Cute. Cute. We're going to Sacred. We're going to Sacred. Where are we going? We're going to Sacred. We're going to Sacred. We're going to Sacred. Look at the thingies. What thingies? The ponchos. Oh my god. <laughs> See that? Fucking ponchos. We all put ponchos on because we thought it was pissing. Well, it was pissing while I was peeing. <laughs> We're both pissing. <laughs> and, like and then <laughs> we walked to a colonator. Me and Mother Nature. <laughs> And then we were all in our little ponchos in the hall and I was like, oh my god, it looks like we're going fucking trick-or-treating. It's like when you were like a kid and you put a, a black bag on, you're like, ooh, I'm something. <laughs> I'm a ghost. A witch or like a ghost or something. And then we walk out all in our ponchos, not fucking raining. <laughs> Felt like one drop, that was it. So then we all have to stress. Oh, we're running to the bus, we only have Bally eight Moon. minutes. Yeah. Through Bally Moon, which has lots of people. <laughs> Very oh, stressful oh. time. But in other news, look at my eye makeup. <laughs> Shane Dawson. Come on, can Thanks to Neve. Yes. <laughs> Show your makeup. Oh, mine's awful. Don't look. No, it's not. It's so <laughs> pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, it's I got hooded eyes. Me too. Okay. Poncho chic is back. Poncho chic. Yeah. I said what a poncho chic. Poncho chic. Poncho chic. Poncho chic. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. We're like little glowworms in the in the rain, waiting for the Lewis. Got me first sleep. Too long. Will we be on the next one? I can't tell. Face masks. I'm starting to bubble. I look like a little snow woman. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> he wears uh, one of those like hockey kind of. Yeah, well, who's that? That's Jason. Is it actually Jason? Yeah. It's funny that my boyfriend's called Jason. Oh yeah. <laughs> or um. Real life what do you do with oh? What do you do with the swords? Oh my God! You know what I look like. Oh. <laughs> look like Miss Doubtfire when she sticks her face <laughs> in the gate. <laughs> Miss Helen, the water's boiling. Hello! Ah! She's like, this is my night meringue mask. Do you want one drop or two? And it's <laughs> dropping into the tea. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Got this new. What's new rares? to us? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's new to us. <gasps> rares delight, healthy ice cream. Mm. I was actually expecting it to be like half empty, but it's full up to the top because it feels quite light, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's good. It kind of tastes like you know the Aero yogurts. It's kind of like moussey. Oh, it does kind of taste like Aero wee. It's a nice little sneaky snack. Ben and Jerry, who? I'd get this again. Actually, that's way nicer. Than anything else. Mm. Claire, this is your first time going ice skating, isn't it? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so Nervous? <laughs> You'll do fine. My fingers are going to get chopped off. Oh, no, they won't. Ice skating review. How was your first time ice skating? It was nerve wracking. I was yeah. quite scared. I was too scared to go with a penguin. It is a bit stressful. I named my pe penguin Maura Higgins after <laughs> our queen. Shout out to you, Maura, if you're watching Maura this. Can ice skate for anyone from ice skate. Yeah. Look, we got these cute little earrings. If you just focus, there we are.
Ice skating was V fun. 10 out of 10. Maybe next year I'll make it in the Corona Brink. <laughs> the Corona Brink. It is scary. Yeah. We're not, well, no, we're not born to be on ice. In, like, with one hand on the penguin. Oh, 10 cents. Oh, there we go. Fine. I'll do long. We have good luck. Cue the sexy music. Feeling threatened or feeling in a bad mood? Uh, what's special there? They are very, I have to say, they are very sweet. Well, we bacon, apple tarts. Yummy. You look lovely in your apron. <laughs> that looks good, yeah. yeah. So now it's the three tablespoons. Just get three to half, and they're off your fingers. Look at that, it's so cute. It's just a bit, uh, it's a bit flowery, like probably coral, you know, with that little bit dry or something. Deadly. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Hi, Kissy. Your little yeah. head over there. Just like peaceful to watch. You want the sugar, Eddie? Oh, oh, the sugar. sugar. Oh, <laughs> all the sugar. Well, this is not even on the ball there. <laughs> this was going straight onto it. So the apple will probably just like kind of like dis disintegrate a bit in the oven, it kind of like melts down or something. Yes. A little bit. It's like caramelizes. <laughs> caramelizes. Where'd he go? He followed you out. Oh, seriously. Okay. Hello. Come on. <laughs> He's going back in. Come on, come in. Come on, man. He thinks you have chicken, probably. Probably does. You know, like, chicken, chicken man, Colin. <laughs> chicken man, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> what is on the radio? <laughs> Just realised that's going to be in the background of this video. <laughs> Bacon music. Oh, yeah. Bacon music. Oh, yeah. Bacon music. Oh, yeah. Bacon music. I got a donut and it's in the shape of a heart. And we got Krispy Kreme. Coffee. Yummy. Hi. Are you comfy? Oh my god, we're listening to the country remix of Yummy. What is that? He's like, ran no horse bag. Who's that? Who's that? Chick-fil-A? I'm going to listen to this now whenever I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what a hole! <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sounds like Kelsey's at the door. <laughs> Kelsey, I never get sick of you running away from me when I open the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna see how much I need to fill this for a cup of tea. How many tea bags will I put in? Uno, dos, tres. Oh my god, I better not use this spoon. Where are the tea bags? One, two, three. Are you excited for my big mug of tea? No? Okay, thanks for the enthusiasm. <laughs> I think we'll be here a while. <laughs> ah, fucking hot. That's the word now, toodles. Look at the sky. Look at that. What is that? What is that? What? That is insane. You coming out? Hi. Oh my god, I should go look at Natalie's window. 
Yeah, let's go upstairs. Cassie, come on, let's go upstairs and look at Matthew's window. Like, look at it. Whoa. It's like seven o'clock. Whoa. Whoa. What on earth? That is insane. Look, I can knock it over that. So pretty. So as we all know, Matt Damon got stranded in Ireland when the COVID restrictions hit. So as you do, you go to the beach, you bring your kids, you have some fun, you bring shit in a super value bag because what else are you gonna do? But then people ran with it and made it a meme. He's not going swimming, he's quite clearly going drinking. The good old bag of cans. Here's another one that says, Matt Damon is the kid around your estate who would ring your doorbell to ask what you're at when you had a bouncy castle out your back. <laughs> Oh, I love this. So funny. Look at my porridge that I just made. We have some strawberries, we have some blueberries, and we have some chia seeds. Welcome to Leanne's Cafe. Boom. Me and Claire are doing some witchcraft. Witchcraft. Paul's gonna join us in five minutes. We need to get our witchcraft done before oh, there we go. Us. I just done one there to try it and it really feels good. Oh. <laughs> hi. Hey. You're joining us mid-witchcraft. What are you doing? Say hi to the hi vlog. To hey, Bob. Are we witches? <laughs> How did you guys get onto this? Claire started it, so then I joined. We witchy bitches. Witchy bitches, I love it. I'm scared to it's light like mine. It's like the full moon tonight, isn't it? Yeah, Leanne, just let go. <gasps> it's happening! The super moon. Yeah, the, ah. the moon is like <laughs> <laughs> the moon is like the closest it is to Earth now. Whoa. In its orbit. Fantastic stuff. What a great so, time to perform some witchcraft. It's a great time, yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn out. Good girl. Let me see you. Let me see. Oh, lovely. Good girl. All the fluff that came off her. Whoa. <laughs> there is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Aww. Lifesaver. Every day of power helps. Optimism, hope, strength, solidarity, togetherness, kindness, resilience. Ew. Ooh. Look at the moon one. That's cute. Hmm? 
<laughs> I think we're going back to the future. Doc is going to pop out now any minute. Give us some Guinness. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Each of this room is to make your way to the different aroma pots and sample the different aromas. So on my left here is melted barley, so it's a lot of sugar, some sweetness and Guinness. It smells a bit like biscuits plus cereal. Ew. And through fermentation, these are going to be converted into alcohol. And a byproduct of the fermentation process are the oh. lovely beer esters just behind them. Mm. It smells like butterscotch or toffee. And that's down to our yeast of Guinness. Over closer to the door, we have our hops. So these give off a lovely earthy citrusy tone, a little bit of freshness. Beer and these are the source of bitterness in Guinness. And then last on my right up the front here is the roasted barley, which smells like dark chocolate or coffee. Ooh. That's because we roast our barley in a similar way to coffee and cocoa beans. So 232 degrees Malt. Celsius for about two and a half hours. Any hotter, it'll literally catch on fire. Now just a moment once you're finished with all of them, I'm going to invite you up to grab a sample. When you do, you can bring it into the next room and enjoy it at your own leisurely pace. Just remember the key to drinking Guinness is to never sip on it. If you sip on Guinness, you're only going to taste the foam. This might look really creamy, but it is nitrogen gas, so it is extremely bitter and will mask all the flavors underneath. So, generous mouthfuls is the way. So, make sure you have a quick look at that one and have a drink. Perfect, thank you. Here on me. Wait, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Whoa, this place is fancy. Here, we show all cheers together on camera. Here's America. Cheers yeah. to Parsnip. Yeah. To Arthur. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely and cold. To Arthur. To Parsnips. To Martha. Thank you. Oh, there's me again. Hi. Oh, really? Only way for mom is to eat a boyster. That's shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Taste poor explore. Look. Enjoy guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just a fancy glass. Glass is cold, it would be lovely. Cheers. <laughs> it would be lovely. Ah. <laughs> That's nice. That is nice. It tastes like Paddy's day. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Your tail is on my package. She told me she was gonna send me a face mask. But look, she put L.O.R. on it. It's so cute. Thank you so much, Paula. Look at this stitching. Oh my God, thank you, Paula. I can't wait to go outside now. And that is rare for me. I'm gonna wear my scrunchie and I'm gonna wear my mask. Boom. Stitch bitch. Go check her out. Yes. A butterfly flew into the vase thing. Oh, he's gone. Yay. Here's our little buddy. Robbie the Robin. I just called him Robbie because it's very original. But this little bird has been showing up every single day since mom and dad started doing up the garden. They were like flipping over all the muck with the tiller. They planted grass seeds. And literally he pops up everywhere and he's not afraid to come down and like interact with us. It's actually crazy. And then we got told that apparently robins are a sign of like the spirit of like a loved one that passed. So we're pretty damn sure that it's my brother Darren. So that is so cute. He's helping out with the garden. These are some process pictures of when the garden was being done. There's mom and dad getting their wheelbarrow full of stones. Little shrubs that they planted. So cute. Here's mom and dad laying down stones and Kelsey being afraid of them, which I thought was just adorable. So sorry, Kelsey, but I had to add it in. Here's a picture of our baby grass when it started growing. Look at the tiny shoots. This is a butterfly we found in the sitting room, actually. And it wasn't moving. We thought he was injured. So we brought him out into the sun and then after a while he got up enough energy to fly away. So yay. Hi, <laughs> you comfy? Is why you're lying like that? It's because Nan's making scrape on these. Yeah. You trying to get on our good side? Can I put your hood up? Lovely. Lovely little baby. <laughs> Oh, the hood keeps falling down. Yay! 